What is up guys, my name's AK and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to improve your aim, essentially how to shoot dead accurate every time in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the uh, controller aim curve response type. Now, uh, you might have seen this, it got added not too long ago. Uh, essentially, your three options are dynamic, linear, or standard. Um, now, I play dynamic. Um, you can have a read into what they actually do uh, on the game. It will tell you uh, tell you what they do. Um, but essentially, I play dynamic, and I think for people that play with uh, submachine guns and close range guns, uh, dynamic works the best. Uh, and for those of you that uh, maybe play ARs or more long range things, I think um, you can try either standard or dynamic. Standard does work quite well for them as well so basically have a play around with that um, figure out what you think feels nice and then use that so my next point is uh, on field of view now uh, this is another thing that's been added sort of to all platforms for this game uh, the field, field of view slider uh, you can go from 80 which is uh, essentially the the old style call of duty what it's been on uh, console um, all the way up to 120 uh, which is the maximum which is what you see some of the pc players now uh, use now what i'll say is don't play with your field of view too high because uh, the higher you are essentially the more stuff there is on the screen and i guess a good uh, analogy is um, like snipers uh, why do you use the high optic zoom on the snipers because it means you can have more sway uh, either side of where the player is and essentially still hit uh, still hit the player hit the target get the kill so uh, the kind of the same thing works with field of view so you don't want to play with a field of view that's too high uh, that means all of the enemies become very small targets and then very hard to hit so uh, I actually play it on 95 uh, I've hovered around the 85 to 95 sort of region that is uh, very comfortable for me uh, I know some of the pros recommend going up to 105 but I definitely wouldn't go any higher than that now my next point is going to sound very uh, sort of common sense, but it's essentially just play a lot. The, the more you play, um, the more you're going to get good at using the guns and uh, generally just um, yeah, getting a better shot. Now one thing I would say, if you need uh, to have your shot warm for something, say say you've got a scrim coming up or uh, an important match of whatever it might be, uh, make sure that you've put in a bit of time, say uh, 20 minutes, half hour beforehand, just to sort of warm up your shot because your first game on, uh, you probably know this, isn't always very good and it sometimes takes you a while just to get into the, the rhythm of things before, uh, before your accuracy becomes as good as it can possibly be. So yeah, if you do need to do something, um, like if you need uh, your shot to be good for something, make sure you've prepared beforehand. Now my next thing, again, might seem quite logical, but it's uh, using attachments that boost uh, your recoil control, uh, and I guess alongside that, not using attachments that um, negatively impact your recoil control, unless uh, it's maybe something like a sniper where that isn't really uh, too essential. So if you don't know what to do, basically just go on to the, um, the uh, creator class thing where you add the attachments and uh, this game is very good for that. It tells you all of the stats that the attachments do uh, that are generally correct. I know some of them aren't uh, perfect um, for what they say they do, but a general rule of thumb. So things like foregrip, muzzle brake, they're going to uh, improve your um, recoil control. So that's what you want to see. Now the last thing I want to talk about is centering. Now this essentially means having your gun pointed in the position where the enemy is going to be uh, so that the uh, immediate, like immediately when you see them on the screen you can get shooting them uh, straight away. Now this is something you've got to sort of learn and um, basically the, the field of view um, increase helps this. It means that you can look where the enemies are going to be and then give you sort of more ability to look with your eyes as opposed to turning uh, your character and essentially this is going to mean that your gun is always going to be in the middle where the enemy are and so you'll be able to start shooting them quicker. Now hopefully that description of centering sort of sums up what it is, uh, but yeah, it's just making sure that your gun is pointed where the enemy are going to come, uh, as opposed to pointed in some random direction um, that you happen to be looking at a given time. So that's about it for today's video, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you've got any other tips, uh, make sure to drop them in the comment, that's much appreciated by me and uh, anyone else I'm sure that's watching this video. So thanks a lot for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like and I'll see you all soon. Have a good one.